You'd think that going to the drive-in and having lightning flash every two seconds would be pretty cool, but after an hour and a half, it gets pretty annoying. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is the next film in the MCU, and is about Shang-Chi, the master of unarmed weaponry-based kung fu, who is forced to confront his past after being drawn into the Ten Rings organization. I've been a fan of the MCU for pretty much as long as I can remember. I always get excited for their new movies. Phase 4 has also been really strong so far. Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, those have been great. WandaVision was pretty good up until the last few episodes, and then Black Widow I had some issues with. But none of those are bad, and overall, it's been pretty strong. And I've been looking forward to this movie for a long time. The trailer I watched, I think it was the first one, was really good. The reviews were very high. Like I said, the MCU has a very good track record. And this one seemed pretty cool. And I'm happy to say that I had a really good time with this movie. This is one of the most unique films in the MCU. It tells its story and its character development in a way that's pretty much entirely new to them. And it is just a really good movie overall. Easily the best part about this movie is the action, especially in the first half. There's a greater emphasis on practical stunt work and fighting, and it's just incredible. The action is fast, it's fluid, it's intense, and yeah, there is still CGI fights that you'd expect from a Marvel movie in the end, but even those are really good. The visuals are fantastic, the movie looked great, but the action was definitely the standout, and I'd say this is worth seeing just for the fight choreography alone. This is some of the best action in the MCU. There's no quick cutting, there's a lot of really long takes, and like I said, the visuals and CGI are all fantastic. And I really enjoyed the story too. It's not something super groundbreaking, but the way it is told is very unique for the MCU. A lot of the character development is done through flashbacks, which seems a little odd at times, but once you know the full story, it is very interesting, and I really liked it overall. And the characters are really great too. Simu Liu is fantastic in the lead, and I really like the rest of the supporting characters too. If you like the MCU, if you like superhero movies, of course you're going to enjoy this. If you don't, you might respect it for its action. It's not going to change your opinion on superhero movies if you're kind of done with them. But if you are a fan of these types of movies, this is definitely worth a watch, and it's very entertaining. I also really like the villain. He's very different compared to a lot of the other MCU villains. He's not out to destroy the entire planet. His motivations make sense, and he's definitely one of the stronger villains in the MCU. My only real problem with this movie is the humor. I like the MCU's jokes when they're used correctly, and most of the time they are. I think the Ant-Man movies in particular are really funny. But a lot of the time, they are not used properly, like WandaVision, the last episode. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. This one does not use its humor in the best ways. There's this really intense, dark, tragic backstory that a character is talking about, and it's really interesting. But then it immediately cuts away to a joke and almost ruins everything that came before it. I don't know why they chose to do that, and this happens later on, so the humor definitely could have been used in better ways. I'm not saying all of it was super unfunny, but that's the only real issue I have with the movie, and yeah, it could have been done better. Other than that, I don't really have too many issues with the movie. There are some smaller things I won't get into because of spoilers, but it's still a really great movie overall. If you like the MCU, you're really going to like this. This is one of the better superhero movies to come out this year, and I would highly recommend it. I'm going to give Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings an 8 out of 10. It's not the best movie in the MCU, but it certainly isn't the worst, and it is a great time. So thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know. Have you seen this movie? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.